Hello and welcome to the CS Card video tutorial. My name is Alex, and today we will speak about Email Templates Editor. Let's begin. Beginning with version 4.4.1, CS Card comes with a built-in editor for the templates of email notifications. You can customize these templates according to needs or import the templates that were created and exported by someone else. So, before we proceed, let's go through the key features of the new editor. Notification tabs. All notifications are now gathered in one place. Add-on support. You can add new snippets and notifications with add-ons. Easy notification editing. Coding skills are not required. Just enter the data manually or use variables and snippets. Preview. Preview and test emails features. Code snippets. Code snippets are used to speed up the editing process. Notification style. The style of notifications now matches the style of your store. Backward compatibility. All templates are preserved so you don't have to worry about them while moving from the old system to the new one. The import and export functionality. Now let's turn to the detailed overview of these features. So, first of all, we need to enable the editor. Go to Settings, Appearance. Find the Email Templates mode setting at the bottom of the page and choose New from the drop-down list. After that, the editor becomes available at the Design section of the Admin panel. Here, three tabs are available – the Customer Notifications tab, the Admin Notifications tab, and the Code Snippets tab. All default stored notifications are gathered on the first two tabs. To alter the desired notification, just click on its title or use the gear button and click Edit. Also, you can disable notifications. Just choose Disabled at the right side of the notification title. You can edit the subject and the body of the notification. To make edits, use variables and snippets located on the left. Just click the variable and it will be automatically added to the desired place on the tablet. Variables use data from the store to substitute correct values. If you want to revert unwanted changes after you already save them, Click the gear button at the top right corner and then choose Restore to put everything to its initial state. To check the result, click the gear button and choose Preview. The gear button is also used to send test emails. Test emails are sent to the email of the logged-in administrator. Please note that due to the lack of context, Test emails may differ from the emails sent to customers and administrators. Each order's status has its own notification. These notifications are found under the shared title of order notification. Attach PDF files to order notifications to provide your customers with full information about the order. The third tab contains code snippets. Code snippets are used to represent common elements of notifications, such as headers and footers. On this tab, you can create, delete, and edit snippets. Also, snippets use styles of the currently applied theme. For example, if we take our default theme called Responsive and change its style from Modern to Facebook, the style of snippets will change accordingly. We also preserve the backward compatibility. The old templates that don't have notifications for them will continue working up to the upgrade as supposed. The old templates can be found at Design – Templates. And last but not least is the Import and Export feature. Add new and modify existing notifications and snippets with this new functionality. Use the gear button located on the main page of the editor to import and export notifications. The notifications are saved in an XML file. Well, that's it for today. Thanks for watching and see you in the next Discord videos.